Hi everyone, um, it's Bernard Harcourt. How are you doing? Listen, I have a new book out. It's called Cooperation, uh, a political, economic, and social theory. I just got the hard copy, first copies, advanced copies. I'm really thrilled. It's right here, Cooperation. And I wanted to tell you just a little bit about it. I mean, basically what I'm trying to argue in the, in the, in the book is that we can't transform society unless we have an integrated economic idea of how we're going to do that along with a social idea and the political idea and cooperation provides that for us it provides it along all three dimensions um, I think many of us when COVID hit an extraordinary uh, death toll uh, particularly in New York City with morgues, mobile morgues. It was just, it was just horrifying. And so many uh, friends and family were so deeply affected. Many of us really took a step back and went back to kind of first principles, like wh how, how are we going to uh, change the world? And many of us kind of reached to our, 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 our core thoughts and, 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 and interlocutors. And, and in part for me, it was my, political economy shelf and it was and it was Marx and Smith and and Ricardo and and uh, and all these thinkers Proudhon and, and and Fourier and others who had thought about notions of cooperation as an alternative to uh, extractive capitalism now those notions have been around for for a couple of centuries um, and they're extremely powerful um, they, they lead to worker cooperatives that are extremely productive, to social cooperatives like Cooperative, cooperative Jackson down in Mississippi. Uh, they lead to all forms of mutualism, uh, mutual uh, insurance, uh, credit unions, uh, consumer cooperatives, uh, mutual aid. All of those have been around for for centuries, um, and they surround us, and 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 it turns out that they offer a much better model than the model of extractive capitalism, because in all of those models, there's self-determination, there's democratic forms of self-determination uh, throughout all aspects of our lives, right? Um, economic work, etc., um, and and collaboration a sense of the sustainability of the enterprise, a sense of um, the environmental impacts of the enterprise, caring about all of the different stakeholders who are involved in uh, enterprises. That, that's completely missing in the kind of capitalist return on capital um, framework and model, uh, which only looks at shareholder interests, which only looks at managers' interests, but doesn't really care about the people who are supplying, the people who are working, the people who are selling, all of, and, or the environment. And so what I try to offer in this new book, Cooperation, is really a multidimensional way to think about transforming the world, building on these ideas that have been around for so long. As a, at the political level, right, it's really important to, to rethink uh, these models of cooperation. Um, many of the 19th century thoughts, Fourier, uh, Proudhon, um, Owen, uh, the you know, utopian socialists, a lot of it is, um, is stuck in the 19th century. Uh, the, the gender relations, the, the anti-Semitism, it's Im impossible to understand how, in fact, um, uh, many of these thinkers were thinking about cooperation when so much of their thought was still limited to kind of 19th century framework. So I think we need to get beyond that, uh, in part with W.E.B. Du Bois' work, which was extraordinary in terms of cooperation. Uh, he argued for a, a separatist uh, African-American community of cooperatives. Uh, but here, though, I think that we are a little bit past the point of separatism when it comes to uh, cooperative endeavors, and we need to have an inclusive approach. So at the political level, I try to reformulate uh, the basis for um, cooperation, also away from a certain evolutionary uh, Darwinian uh, way in which it was often presented um, in the 
in the in the early 20th century, uh, particularly by uh, Kropotkin and others. So reformulate the political and then propose it as an entire economic system, and that's that's the heart of the of the book, I think. Um, as an alternative uh, economic system, show the way it works. It's incredibly simple, right? Because all that we're doing is kind of replacing the, the shareholder by all of the stakeholders, especially the workers and the consumers uh, of an enterprise. So I try to take uh, the reader through the, 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 financial, the, the, the financial analysis of what uh, cooperation entails. And then uh, I, I broached the broader topic about the social theory of cooperation. And here I really think that cooperation can allow us to get beyond uh, uh, the punishment paradigm that we have today, the punishment paradigm that has brought about uh, racialized mass incarceration in this country, um, and that it's through forms of cooperation that we're going to be able to simply to, to really break and shed uh, the punishment paradigm that plagues us today. Uh, and uh, just uh, get rid of this, uh, just this, it's, it's unconscionable, uh, the kind of society that we've created in terms of uh, mass incarceration and the racialized nature of mass incarceration. It's, it's unconscionable. One day we will look back on, on the two million plus persons who are behind bars at this moment and ask ourselves, where was our humanity? So it's an integrated approach, a political, economic, and social. I, I really hope that you will read it and engage me in thinking about this. Um, uh, I, 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 I think that it's the only way forward, um, particularly now, right, when electoral politics are just not going to do it. Um, uh, we're in a kind of in a polarized, locked in kind of we're, we're in a rut right now. And, uh, and neither side, uh, neither the kind of, uh, you know, individualists on the one hand or the administrative state people on the other hand are going to be able to get us out of our crises. Um, it, we have to do it ourselves through these notions of cooperation, these values of cooperation, self-governing, for instance, uh, respect for the environment, respect for all the stakeholders. That's the only way that we're going to make any headway today. So uh, I hope you... Uh, read it, uh, Cooperation, uh, a Political, Economic, and Social uh, Theory. I hope you read it, and I'd love to hear what you think about it, and I hope that we're going to continue the conversation. Uh, next year, uh, we'll be turning uh, to Cooperation 1313 at the Columbia Center for Contemporary Critical Thought. I hope you'll join us for those discussions and to continue the conversation about what I'd like to call cooperism. All right, thanks.